Well, Luna Kerfan was shopping in her local Loblaws supermarket in Toronto last month when a man approached her with a tablet. That person approached me and presented himself as a Loblaws uh, employee and said that they are conducting a customer satisfaction survey and um, asked me, uh, said that he would be offering 20,000 free PC points um, to just answer a few questions about my shopping habit, habits at the store. That was it. He asked for her driver's license, apparently, to confirm her identity and then scanned it without asking her. A few days later, she received a PC Financial MasterCard in the mail, a card she never asked for. I felt I was tricked and it wasn't a pleasant feeling. I was very, very annoyed. Turns out the man didn't work for Loblaws. He worked for SDI Marketing, a company hired to get more credit card customers for PC Financial. They work on an hourly base plus commission. We spoke to an ethics professor at UBC who said that these people who push plastic need to be transparent and can't be unethical. Promotions by themselves are not morally problematic and a reasonable customer will often know that if they're pulled in, there's for a reason. It's when they're saying they don't have uh, all other motives, right? Or when they're actually signing somebody up for something without their consent. That's a genuine problem. Now, SDI Marketing wouldn't talk on camera, neither would Law Laws or PC Financial, although both those companies said our findings were disappointing and uncommon, although we've heard from other customers who say they had similar experiences at Law Laws stores and other retailers. Carrie Taylor is a personal finance expert. She's not a fan of plastic pitchmen. People walk in, they are, you know, unwittedly, you know, shopping in the frozen food section, and all of a sudden they're approached to get a card with the bonus of all these points. And it must be really working for these companies well because they keep doing it. According to federal banking regulations, it's against the law to sign someone up for a credit card without their consent. Erica Johnson, CBC News, Vancouver. Now, as you heard there in Erica's report, our Go Public team has found a number of viewers who've had a similar experience. What about you? We'd like to hear from you this morning. If you've ever ended up signed up for a service you didn't want, maybe didn't even realize you were agreeing to, you can email us at morninglive at cbc.ca or send us a tweet at CBC Morning Live.